Hi, my name is Josh, also known as Yoshi Bear J. I'm a digital marketer, and in this video, I'm going to show you another way that I noticed that basically helped me get some more sales at a really good ROAS. This specific tactic that I'm about to show you actually helped me to get to 7x ROAS, guys. So very profitable Facebook ad campaign. Guys, I'm going to show you what I did so you can do it in your own campaigns. But guys, as you know, I don't waste no time. Let's get into the video. So guys, I figured, that, figured out this hack, right? And I think it really comes down to understanding your customer. It really comes down to understanding your customer. As you can see here, the ROAS is 7.94 from the 1st to the 26th of May. Let's even shorten the time horizon. Let's go from time the, the time of me recording the video. I'm recording it on the 26th of May on a Sunday. So let's do 19th to 19th, yeah, week to week. The ROAS is still 7.54. And guys, in this particular campaign, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to show you and, and, and give you advice on what I did. Yeah. But it actually made a big difference to the performance of this campaign, just by simply understanding the customer that we are targeting and understanding their thought process. That's it. And I'll show you, I'll show you guys. Yeah. Just by making this change, it made a big difference. So for those of you who are selling e-commerce products as well as services, add this onto your ads, guys. It will help you so much in getting some performance, yeah? Guys, test this. Obviously, you can't promise anything. You have to test these things. But it helped me. And as you guys know, when I test new things, I always share them with you guys. I don't keep them a secret. I don't keep them a secret. I always share them with you guys. So guys, not to waste any time. This is what I did. This is exactly what I did. So as you guys can see, we're in the ads manager. All I did, guys, is I click create. I click sales. Again, you can do this for leads as well, but I click sales. I'm just basically sharing what I did. Then I clicked continue. Then I selected manual sales campaign. Then continue then right here i'm in the campaign level i scroll down and then you're going to see the advantage campaign budget right here and then i just turn this on and i put this at i don't know 10 yeah i always tend to do 10 all the time i don't know it's either 10 or 20 one of them but for the sake of this video yeah 10 yeah so auction buy the buying type is always auction. I rarely, I rarely ever do reservation. Rarely, rarely. Most of the time it's auction. Campaign objective sales, obviously. This user catalog, I turn this off. Advantage campaign budget on. Then I click next. For this to work here, yeah, you want to make sure that you select website. For this to work, you go make sure you select website. If you got website and shop connected, you can choose website and shop either way, but you need it to go to website. Then the performance goal you want to select as maximize number of conversions. That is what you want to select, maximize number of conversions. Then you want to select your pixel. Then after you've done that, you want to select this conversion event as purchase. You want the conversion event to be purchase, not anything else, purchase. Then we scroll down. Then once you scroll down, you want to click this, switch to original audience options, then click use original audience. Yeah. Then right here, you want to select the location that you're trying to target. You want to select the age, the gender you're trying to target, et cetera, et cetera. But guys, I want to make this very clear. Because a lot of you guys are going to, your age range is going to be maybe between 25 to 65. And this is going to work very well, right? 
well, in my case, this worked very well for me because I had a much bigger age range. And the thing we have to remember, guys, is that if you're selling a product and the algorithm is showing the ad to a much older demographic, 50, 55, 60 and up, right? We have to make sure that our ads cater to them. And yeah, you can do the same type of creative and stuff, but I'm going to show you a way where it caters to them. Because when you do this right, that's when the conversions and the sales come and they come in at a high ROAS. Let me show you. So here, 25 to 65. And then you can choose the gender that you're trying to target. Cool. Then you can put in your interest and all that good stuff. Then placements, I tend to just leave it like this. Yeah. Then once that's done, you want to select next. So guys, bear in mind, I mentioned earlier, when you are targeting a wider age range, sometimes the algorithm will show your ads to an older demographic. But we have to remember that older, an older demographic tend to have the money. They tend to have the money to spend. They have, majority of them actually do. Some of them are probably earning pretty high salaries, they work their way up in their careers, they can afford more, they don't, it's not a big deal for them to spend, I don't know, $200 or pounds on a product because they have that disposable income. So that's one thing you always find across the board. The older, the more disposable income they have. The younger, the least disposable income that they have. Usually across the board, we're not talking about anomalies or anything like that, yeah? So keeping that in mind, now we're on the ad level. Then we scroll down. Then what you want, then what you want to do, you want to put in your image or put in the video, image or video here. Cool. Then your call to action, especially if it's e-commerce, you want to choose either learn more or choose shop now. As we can see right here, either these two, yeah. Then what you what you want to do next is. You scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down. Then you want to put the URL that goes to your product, your business, where they can go to your website and make the purchase. Yeah. Then you go down to browser add-ons. It says here, people will see your website when they tap on your ad. You can add an additional contact method in the browser to help people connect with you. A lot of brands forget this. They, they, just, they just ignore this and keep it as none. But you have to remember that sometimes when people see your ad for a product and they want to buy it, but they're not sure, they may want to call in to ask, hey, I'm interested in getting this product. I just have one question. And when you keep in mind that your ads are also being shown to older people, it's very easy for us to assume because to, to assume that older people just know how to just go around the internet and just buy stuff. And it's cool. Sometimes some people, and it's not even a case of not knowing how to navigate the internet and the websites. It's not even that. Sometimes it's just trust. Sometimes they just need to know if this company is a real company before they even buy it. Because I tend to find older adults tend to, it's more about trust. They don't want to feel like someone's scamming them or just taking the money or giving their money to a brand or company that they're not too sure about. They want to feel confident. So by adding a call button where they could call your company before making a purchase will help so much in increasing your purchases and your conversions because that now adds another layer of trust to your ads but a lot of companies it's just the website okay cool so if i'm an older person i click on the click on the ad i go to the website mm, I'm, oh this is great but i'm not too sure do they i'm looking for certain i have questions in my mind that the website isn't answering but if there's an option to call i not only have one way to purchase i have two ways to purchase and when you give the customer multiple ways to give you money it's more likely to happen 
a lot of brands make this mistake. They always overestimate. They always assume how their customer is going to behave. Sometimes just some people just want to call in just to see if your company is real or not before they can give you any money and buy your products. So that's what I've been doing. I've been adding this. And as you can see, my ROAS is at 7.54 from the 19th last Sunday to 26 today. A week straight of ROAS above seven just by simply giving the customer multiple ways of giving you money, of paying for your product. Not just one way. It makes such a big difference. It's that simple thing, it makes such a big difference, guys. And I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Guys, and as you can see, Facebook, the performance of Facebook, as we all know, is, it's just been crazy these days. It's just been acting a bit weird. Sometimes performance goes down, it goes up, then there's no spend. And so I'm always trying different ways. And when I try these different ways, it's I, 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 I want to make sure that I share them with you. So you can just do it quick. Do it quick and see if it's working. Because if it works for me, I'll share it. I'll share it. Because at the end of the day, the Facebook ad platform is very vast. Right. So I know that this is going to help a few businesses out there that are struggling in terms of the performance, Facebook ads performance. Yeah. So, guys, in summary, make sure that you add an additional way for the prospect to buy from you, either by adding that call button, adding that call option. So, so they can still go to your website, but Adding that call just gives them two ways. Or you can add that WhatsApp as well. Just give them more than one way. And this should help with increasing performance on your Facebook ads. Guys, if this has helped you, feel free to click the link in the description. I've got a Facebook ad program. I've got other resources that are going to help you in your business. But guys, as usual, I'll be back with more marketing tips and tricks to help you guys. Take care.